person is dead after a car went through a wall at Vidant Medical Center this morning. Three others are still recovering. We brought you this story first on nine with exclusive video of the scene. WNCT's Jessica Jewell has the latest on the recovery efforts. Early this morning while driving down this road, a man had an apparent medical emergency and crashed through a wall in the emergency room. People inside tell us they were terrified. People almost getting hit by a car that is just, you know, panic and the whole ED. Christy Hicks was working just above the emergency room when 59 year old William Spellman's car crashed through the wall. It seemed like a lot of people were in panic, like a lot of the staff, you know, they were just really concerned. More than half of the car landed in the emergency room lobby where seven people were sitting. Three of them, along with the driver, were injured. Fresh off disaster training earlier this week, Vited staff was ready to handle the chaos. We had to um, have some of our nurses go down and get some of our patients from down there. A tow truck removed the crushed Kia Spectra, leaving a huge hole in the wall. Emergency department head Dr. Ted Delbridge says the ER stayed open while police investigated and patients used an alternate door. Getting the emergency department up and running within five hours of a car crashing through its walls and never really missing a beat in the meantime. Crews put up this temporary wall as they worked to fix the massive hole. It could take days to fully repair the damage. Despite all the chaos, Biden officials say they quickly return to business as usual. In Greenville, Jessica Jewell, 9 on your side.